Yo, what is up guys? Hero Brian here. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. The so last time we failed to do the NCR quest line. So we're going to be doing an attempt to, this time we're going to try and make peace with the Brotherhood of Steel. Unless this is a save I went into, unless this, unless this save I went into was before I killed off the Brotherhood. Now, originally, you know, I wasn't going to feel like making a Fallout New Vegas video, but I... Ugh. Something happened today, and I just like I need to vent. I need to make another Fallout video just so I can vent about it. So you all may know I use. So if you remember in my uh, Skyrim video, I actually was. I uh, spoke about a user named Victor Swim, the Senate. And. And now, I used to say, I used to say, like you know, despite all of that, like I still have high respects for Victor. Well, guess what? That opinion has officially changed. Um, if you saw from my community post I put up today, um, I now lost respect to Victor Swim. Again, if you don't know who Victor Swim the Senate is, he's that one former. He used to be known as Vivid Doomsday on YouTube. Well, according to Axel. And basically, why I lost respect on him was because he he offended religion. No kidding. He actually said to he actually, he lost. If you don't know, but he was making a by the numbers his own by the numbers list. Which again, I don't really care about those types of things. Like. You do what you do if you want to make a BTNL. Like, I'm not doing that, like, whatsoever. I would never make a BTNL, and I will never will. And I, never I will make one. Like, I will never... Like, I've never made a BTNL, and I never will make one. Because they're overused, in my opinion. That's what... And the cutscenes, they're just... Uh, boring, half a while. But... We're not going to be talking about BTNLs. Um... Basically, what happened was uh, he made a community post about him losing his document from "quote unquote" God, like, and he said he was gonna make a diss track on God, like Victor Jesus. I said you were respectable in my Skyrim video. Well, now I'm probably gonna have to quote unquote disown that video, like disown. Well, not disown the gameplay, but disown the Victor talk part. And probably have to name it to a different thing. Like, probably just get rid of... I don't know. I'll probably just... Just say, disowned... Disowned... Or Victor part disowned... Or just... Forget what I said about the Victor... In the Victor part of that Skyrim video where I was killing uh, spirit animals. I think that's what I was doing while I was talking about Victor. Uh, but basically what he did is he offended religion. Now... To me, as like someone who was baptized in a Orthodox Greek, a Greek Orthodox church in Australia, that's just offensive as hell. Because first of all, I am I am Greek Orthodox Catholic. Like, I, I was baptized in a Greek Orthodox church when I was a child. Well, when I was like a toddler, and basically, what he did is he did something very offensive. Like, here's another thing. Uh, everyone turned a blind eye on this, but he had the freaking KKK. You remember who the freaking KKK is? It's they're known as the Ku Klux Klan, and they are an extremist and racist uh, political organization in the United States. And the thing was that he had them in his like later series. I forgot what it's called, but let me just look at my look at me. Let me look back on his channel. Um, I was responding to the report on this. Um, yeah, sorry if I uh, if I'm looking like sideways, backwards, and all that. Um, I'm basically just turning around all over the place because I'm trying to find that other thing. Um, where is it? This was on um, Stud Baker's Insane Life, and that's what it's called. It was episode two, I think. Let me see. It's episode two. Two Victor Legends, no one cares about that. So it's basically just a reboot of uh, the Victor show. Victor moved to a mansion. Episode 3, actually. Season 1, Episode 3, Penguin's Headquarters. 
you may be thinking like, what's wrong with them making the KKK the bad guys? It's the fact that, because the KKK should not be added in any show whatsoever, because that all it does is just either promote them, or promote hate. Like, sure, making them villains does, is, sure, making them villains does sound like it's just a Bible, but in reality it's not. What it does, it, it it makes it look like you're actually glorifying them and not actually, you know, basic. Basically, what I'm saying is, if you put the freaking KKK in your cartoon, your own series, just for because you like to make, like, here's the thing, like, if you remember, like, in my community post yesterday when I was talking about uh, Laporte adding Hitler as like the main attackers for week six of his Friday Night Funkin' mod. Um, we did change that, though, to a troll face, but Pinkstone still insists he needs to be harassed on YouTube for that. Again, I disagreed with Pinkstone for that one. By the way, just a heads up, Pinkstone actually got banned off Redstone server once again because, uh, uh he just, it was, I don't know what the hell was going on myself, like, I just, I decide, I just want, I just wanted to stay out of that situation. But, anyway. I guess this gun will do. Anyway, so, back to what I was saying. Um, so, yeah, Victor had the freaking KKK in his episode uh, 3 of his series. Which, again, it's in my opinion, is actually very offensive. Because, why would you want to make the KKK a bunch of villains... Like, or even a character. Because, like, they don't even deserve to be noticed all the time. Like, this is going to be, this is only going to be the only time we're going to be talking about the KKK, because... Well, actually, I already mentioned them in a, uh, Hearts of Iron video, because I accidentally made America fascist. That was just... Now, that was because I didn't realize it was going to be the freaking KKK party. But, still... It's not cool, like, in my opinion, it's not even, like, this is my major opinion, but it's not cool to have the KKK in so in your own series, because it's racist, it's offensive, and can really trigger someone. Like, I saw that myself, I saw the episode myself, and I was like, why is the KKK Penguin's Minions? Someone actually questioned why was the KKK Penguin's Minions, and guess what? Oh, by the way, in case you don't know who Penguin is, he's from the Batman series. And by the way, in case you're wondering what my opinion on Batman is, it's like, okay, it's a good series. Like, you know, I liked it when I was a kid. Oh, there you go. Finally sleep properly. But, still, it, it triggers me because... It, it, it just triggers me because it... it, it <laughs> Excuse me one second, mom was calling me for dinner. Alright, I'm back. <clears throat> just had my dinner. Um, sorry about that. Anyway. So, as I was saying about Victor, um, so basically what Victor Swim did was pretty much a bit offensive. Like, well, majorly offensive. Because, first off, again, he put the freaking KKK in his latest series, which, <clears throat> to, in my opinion, by the way, this is my opinion, um, it's, I find it really offensive because it, it's not funny. It's like... It's not even funny to, like, add freaking neo-Nazis in your own, like, YouTube series. Because, first of all, it's it's just downright disrespectful. Second of all, you don't know... Like, second of all... Uh, some of these should just be forgotten. Like, well, not really forgotten, because they put permanent scars on us, but... The KKK, like, I think sure mentioning of the KKK is actually against YouTube's terms of service, but if that was, then I wouldn't be talking about that, and I wouldn't have been, I probably would have still been talking about the fact that Victor offended God. <clears throat> but, in my opinion, I actually find adding, oh, this is a save where I actually killed the BOS troops. Crap. 
No time to talk now. I have to get ready to return to base with this information. I'll get a fat raise for this, if anyone actually believes me. Okay, well, we'll try this again. Green Ghost is DMing me on Discord right now. Yeah, he's just asking about the mice in his series. <clears throat> but yeah, I was gonna say that if anyone thinks about me having the KKK in my videos, hell no! Nah. I am not going. Like, I am 100% never putting the freaking KKK in my videos whatsoever. Because, first of all, it's it's it'll be really offensive. I don't want to get a hate base. And, third, it's... <laughs> they don't even matter in this world, but, like, they do... Like, they don't even matter. They're just a bunch of rednecks who are against black people. It, it, it's, it's completely disgusting. Like... Sometimes you may even suggest that is Donald Trump even part of that group himself? Like I don't know, is he? But well, but let's not talk about the KKK now because I've already said that the KKK in cartoons is, in my opinion, really offensive. <clears throat> but I will actually talk about other things that are, in my opinion, not great. Like, here's the thing. So, you remember last year when Victor did uh, his uh, Victor versus his dad video? Well... <sighs> well, here's the thing about this. Um, again, it's not even that great to... Well... Like, am I, it's not even great to, you know, do s well. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, how do I say? Oh yeah, Victor vs. Dad, sorry, I was just daydreaming. My, I look at my phone, I'm daydreaming, because I'm doing this without a script, like always. <clears throat> but, you know, it's... What Victor Swim did was pretty much offensive. Like, who knows, it's probably like really offensive to a lot of people. Because people suffered in the hands of the freaking Ku Klux Klan. Oh, sorry, I meant to say. Wait, no. Ah! Um, again, I'm doing this without a script. What if I talked about the freaking KKK too much in this video? Alright. I said enough to talk about the KKK. Um. Uh. uh what is the word in my head? I, I forgot what I was talking about now. Uh, oh, yeah, Victor for his dad. I do apologize if I go off topic for a second because <clears throat> my brain is having a freaking meltdown right now. Like, it's really confusing because I'm playing a video game while I'm talking about certain topics. But I should probably just mention the fact that Victor, Victor Swim, actually once made a video of himself fighting his dad last year. And then, like, people were hating on him because of that. And I think he, like, one time threatened to become a communist dictator. Bruh, you're not here running 666, Victor. <laughs> Make sure your name is Victor and it does sound Russian. Like, your name is not a Victor with a K. But still. It's not cool. Just go ahead and offend a religion like that. Like, trust me, don't be in Victor Swim's shoes. It will just make matters worse for you. Anyway. 
But yeah, just don't make videos about you fighting your parents because it's not cool and you shouldn't really discuss about your personal family life anyway. Keep that to yourself, like... Like, to really avoid a hate base, you really need to not talk about your family life and how crap it is. Unless you're being abused by your parents and whatever. But you should mostly just keep your personal family life to yourselves. Including, like, horrible things you do to your parents because... Trust me, I don't think other people really want to know what you did. Like... Like, here's the thing, I accept- like, I one time accepted, uh, J. Kaiser's apology. Wait, why am I just- and I meant, like, not his full apology. I was just gonna say, why am I not- why am I talking about J. Kaiser now? Let me go- let me go back to the Victor topic. So... Now- but yeah. So, we dealt with the whole Victor swim... That- versus his dad issue. And now we're dealing with, uh, Victor Swim offending religion. Again, it's- it's not cool to offend religion like that. I know I'm gonna be in a gunfight with these guys. Oh, again. Oh my god. Oh wait, I've already, I've already killed these guys. I don't know why, but it says find the Brotherhood of Steel chapter in this area and deal with them. Hmm. Um. Oh, so I do kill everyone in here, and then I can report back. One issue with this game is, uh, oh. Anyway, so what I what was my opinion about Victor Swim offending religion? Absolutely disgusting. Like Victor. Just because you've lost your freaking by the numbers list document does not mean you should throw a temper tantrum that you've lost your freaking document and throw at the temper tantrum onto God. Like, what has God ever done to you? He's never even. He doesn't even know you. Jesus, I've been in a massacre. Anyway. Wait, all three cards. I'm just gonna... I should probably get out of here now. But while I'm here, I might as well take their power armor as well. Let's say it's called BOS power armor. Brotherhood power armor. Anyway. But yeah. The fact that Victor went ahead and just offended God like that, it's actually disgusting, Victor.
Like, not gonna lie, you shouldn't even have said that, because now people are gonna come after you. Like, I asked a few people, like, I asked Laporte if he hates you now. He hates you. Um, and by the way, come to think of it, because... Uh, by the way, come to think of it, because of what you did, I don't think I should really... Uh, I just, I don't like you anymore, Victor. You have did some questionable crap. And, to be honest, I think... Uh, oh, by the way, just a quick uh, heads up. Please don't attack Victor Swim on this. I don't want to give him a toxic hate base. Like, just... Oh, there we go. About time. Let's uh, head back, see if we find anything. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Same destroyed crap. We get nothing. Yep, we've completely destroyed their base of operations. <clears throat> anyway. So... So anyway, yeah, Victor Swim, you... I, I don't think I should like you anymore because what you did. Because again, it, it's not, again, it's not even funny to really say that about a religion. Like, you know, a few members of the animator squad agrees with me that we shouldn't have done that. Redstone agrees with me. Dylan Huff agrees with me on my community post. I also mentioned the fact, like, before, Redstone had a, um... had a vic the, the his own Victor Swim avatar version of ava of his avatar in his profile pic. But, after, but since Victor Swim has been getting hate now, and Redstone now hates Victor again, he now... he got rid of that uh, avatar because I'm pretty... Because since that avatar is actually linked, is, you know, is actually related to Victor Swim, he actually got rid of the avatar from his profile pic. So now it's just his object OC, the, red, the Mario Redstone. <laughs> Basically just a redstone in a Mario outfit. But what's with objects wearing clothes these days? It's pretty weird, in my opinion. But anyway. Anyway. Anyway, we're fighting for democracy, and I know these guys are going to just bring tyranny. Anyway. Has the Brotherhood been found? Oh, that's a relief. A Brotherhood attack while we're busy with the Legion would be catastrophic. The situation being what it is, we can't... But we've got more important matters to attend to. The president is due to arrive soon, and we're sure the Legion won't waste such an opportunity. I want you to assist. Go up to the visitor center and speak to Ranger Grant. He's in charge of security during the president. Those Legion elite troops are bad blood. Mm Back to Victor Center. But anyway, so yeah, Victor Swim. I've heard of you. I'm glad you're glad you could join us. Most of my men are all anyway, so yeah, Victor Swim, you've you've crossed the line. Like severely dead. Hey. Those free side thugs aren't worth our time anymore. Why don't I try and go this way? It's been a long tour. All I can think about now is going back home. Right. Let's head back to Hoover Dam.
Need to do a security sweep. So if I can remember last time, I'm gonna focus more on this game right now. To just do this level. We've so last time we protected the president, and now we're gonna do it. Try this again. Damn it! I did it! I just fucking walked too. I walked way too close to these guys. Damn it! All right, let's try that again. Uh, <laughs> All right, here we go. We can't go. Engineers and authorized personnel are allowed upstairs. Please step away. All right. Move along. Hey, yeah, I'm moving along. Thank you. Anyway, so basically what Victor Swim did, I just, I can't agree with him on that, because what he said was pretty offensive, kind of. So we need to remember, there's someone up there, and there's going to be an engineer down there that's going to be a willing to assassinate the president. Have you finished your security? No. We need to remember. I don't have time to talk right now. We need to keep an eye out for anything. Report. Suspicious. Anyway, so yeah, basically what Victor Swim did was absolutely, you know, un uncalled for. But by the way, after this, after finishing making this video, um. I'm obviously going to be ignoring him because I don't want to get involved too much with this drama and I don't want to get get make his I don't want to make his freaking hate them more toxic. Like I don't want to like sure he just he got he got the hate he deserves but our main fo my main focus should really just be not giving him that toxic gate base. Anyway. You put myself through I'm just camping. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank, thank you for coming, coming out here today. today. This is very <coughs> It is my pleasure to introduce to you the, the president of the new California Republic, Aaron Kimball. Thank you, fellow Californians. Put the call service put forth by the All right. Republic. It is for you that I have come here. And it is because of you that I am able to do so. We enjoy our privileges because you take the greatest of risks. Right, we gotta be quick about this. To make the most noble sacrifice. It is because of men and women like Private First Class, Jeremy Watson, that Nevada and the new California Republic remain free and secure. Who is that? Why? I was doing what was right. You gotta be careful of that guy in white. That guy's a freaking engineer. Rangers, just, just like, like you, 
Get the president out of here. All right, I think we've uh, established something. Yeah, they're gonna make a getaway now. Protected the president and prevented him from getting JFK'd or freaking, I don't know, whoever other president was close to assassin or kind of Lincoln's, except he was shot with a gun. That guy was coming with a knife. Complained that he wants to kill the president. Who stopped the president? Or just, or should I say, just killed the president, feeling good, is basically what he's gonna say. Anyway, Grant, are you gonna say anything? Anyway, so back to what I was saying about Victor Swim. So yeah, Victor basically did something that was completely out on cold floor, obviously. Why is your teeth running like that? Why am I supposed to be talking to you for this? Right. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to be saying about Victor Swim and the fact that I no longer like him. The what he said about God. Can I also mention the f Oh yeah, by the way, just one last thing. He actually threatened to make a diss track on God. Bruh. <laughs> Victor, are you that dumb to make a diss track on a religious figure. What you're doing is just completely ridiculous and... Yeah, it's something that you should never do. Instead you go ahead and just offend Is God. the president safe? Good. His death could have had a major impact on morale. This whole affair was ill-advised from the start, and I, for one, am glad it's over. While you were out, General Oliver arrived and briefed all senior officers regarding a change in our strategy. I'm not at liberty to divulge what was said, but I've been instructed to send you to him immediately. He set up his camp in the office area at the south end of his power plant. Dismissed. All right, thanks. Oh, here we go. We are committing to fight with the NCR at the Battle for Hoover Dam, which will determine the fate of New Vegas for decades to come. Let's do this. For for the NCR. We're going to be fighting alongside the New California Republic, which is the actual path I was trying to go oh, for. took your sweet-ass time coming here. Let's get down to brass tack. Anyway, uh, just, anyway, just a quick heads up. That's basically what I'm going to talk about for Victor. Again, Victor, you should be ashamed of yourself. But at the same time, just whatever you do, please don't attack Victor. Um, I don't want his attack. Like, just ignore him. He's obviously just making him look like a massive prick. And, you know, if some of you just want to go after Victor, then... If some of you that just want to go ahead and attack Victor, I wouldn't suggest it, but... Do it at your own risk of getting yourself a hate base. It's just, it's absolutely ridiculous what he's doing. You've done some great work for us up. 
Thanks to the task my subordinates have delegated to you, we now have a chance to take the fight to those bastards. I'm in the beginning. That sounds good. Sir, I don't know what happened. A bunch of legionnaires just stormed into the power station. Into the power station? How is that possible? I don't know, sir. There was some talk of them entering through the clog intake tunnels, but I don't have any confirmation. On my way up here, there was some chatter about their commander, the Legate, I think he's called, set up at some kind of base on the eastern bank. Okay, listen here. Unless we can get some additional support... Why has Victor Spova picked on Streamyard? A freaking image of camp they have on the eastern bank and take out the um, that should yeah. hamstring this attack. Like I said earlier. Alright, I'm gonna mute my mic because I'm gonna I need to see this in quick. Good gracious. The Legion is using the intake tunnels to storm their way into the dam. Someone has to stop them. Okay, be careful out there. I hear guns! We're about to go to war! Oh, hi, Legion! Oh. Mike, move out of my way! You're gonna get yourself killed, and I'm about to end up killing you. Oh wait, how am I holding this guy? Holy crap, what is that spear? I'm sorry, whenever I see a really epic looking spear, I need it right now. Alright, we're gonna take some, uh, we're gonna take some crap off them. That's a cool looking pistol. Thanks for the unnecessary kill cam. Ugh. Rest in peace, troop. Ah! All right, what's this? Come on. All right. Let's um They threaten the life of the president, they're gonna threaten the life of everyone you love, California.
Alright, got to headshot them all. Yep, I blew it up myself. Okay, we gotta keep an eye out for any uh, Legion troops. They're bound to attack soon. It's like playing Call of Duty. See what I have to do now. Um, what is Cass doing? Let's roll out then. All right, may have to go all the way down here. Oh, where this leads. Oh, at least the lower levels of Hoover Dam, which means I gotta prepare myself for a gunfight. Um. Yes, yeah, so this is what the inside of Hoover Dam looks like. Hmm. Well, I don't think this is exactly how it looks like, but uh, I don't know. Um... I just blew off his leg. Wait, why am I attacking the NCR now? Another kill to my name. I knew it. Like that? All right, we need to headshot this guy. Alright. 
Good idea. As long as I keep using bats, I'll be able to, uh... So if you touch this, it'll throw you back. That's actually funny. I should probably take that clip and just put a phosphor die on it. Alright, looks like another band of... Another wave of... Uh, Legionnaires. Ringo's put out a community post. Legion, you leave that dog alone. Okay, put a full sword on that one as well. It's gonna be more legionnaires. It's gonna come out of nowhere. Oh, more rangers! Yay! Just don't get in the way of my bullets, otherwise I'll probably end up shooting you and your girl's gonna end up betraying me. Come to think of it, let me check my, uh... My stats. Boomers, I'm idolized. I'm vilified for the Brotherhood. I'm, a, I've, I'm evil. I'm a merciful thug. I'm liked in good springs. NCR I'm liked. My little eyes in Novak. Streff I'm accepted. Alright. Get shot. Alright, you just made the worst decision in standing right in front of me. I have a gun. So did you. And here.
Alright, let's... Let's keep moving. Okay, we're at the main area of the dam. That was really unnecessary to come walking up my face like that. That's all the AP for that. In like one front. How did the Legion make it into the power plant? Damn it, I keep pressing the wrong button every time. Um Okay, I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Okay, looks like I have to go through the visitor center. Um, I don't know how to get there. I might need uh, my combat knife because. Um, let's see, combat knife. Always slice the limbs off of your victims when it comes to the Fallout survival. I wish I was good enough.
Blood just cut his arm off. Well, there goes that, N that NCR troop. How many of these guys do I have to face? It just keeps spawning out of nowhere. Oh, I cut his head off this time. Okay, if it's the center, there we are. He's gonna not respond again because my game hates me. Just ignore the fuck it sounds like that. It's gonna take a while. Okay, I don't know what's up with this game right now. I think my game may have just more likely crashed. So, I'll be right back once I reload my game. Alright, I'm back. Um, so, apparently my game crashed. And, by the way, in case you're wondering why my game was acting like that for a second, um, I decided to take a little bit of a detour and watch um, Axel's stream for a bit. Someone actually, he was just, you know what, he was actually talking about uh, Victor Swim as well. How he's now terrible. Although, I am going to place a little bit of a bet here. I'm going to bet that Victor Swim may end up changing his OC once again to something else because now he'll see his old OC as drama related. Who knows? Perhaps people will say, go back to Vivid Doomsday! Vivid Doomsday was more random than this. Bob mode enabled. Hiya! 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 Okay, let's not just be a let's not be a bit offensive. On that. Yeah, Victor Swim is getting a lot of hate actually. Green Ghost, um, yeah, Green Ghost, Blizzy, Devin.
All right, there's a war zone going on. Well, this is just like fighting in that other thing involving the Brotherhood of Steel. Bloody hell. Okay, time for the assault combo treatment. Never mind then. Alright people, let's get a move on. There's a place I assassinated the assassin. Yep, this is a war zone right now. Oh, that's the NCR troops. Jesus Christ. Someone's fighting a war? Okay, where's my other follower? Where's Cass? Oh wait, that's Cass. Hmm. They're stunning. America. It's fine, it's fine. Legion, go home. Headshot. Oh, there's some sort of fence going on that way. Don't remember. Is everyone with me? Distance. Okay, I'm not gonna get anyone to wait. Obviously, I'm gonna cheat this again. Year. These earphones are hurting my ears. Um. Looks like our only option is to keep pushing forward. We're basically fine. We're basically Alpha squad reporting in. Thanks for the support back there. We've been assigned to ensure you make it to the legate. Roger that. I'll have snipers move to position. Thank you.
Which means that they now officially hate me. Battle rifle. They have battle rifles? Yes, they do. I need a battle rifle. I'm going to get through this blasted wall. Especially since while well, I'm fighting one. Alright, I think it's safe to push forward. Well, there's the camp. They're gonna open fire them immediately once they see me. Oh, is that still a legion mongrel? Alright, 
we're about to walk into there and then take them all out. guards obviously hated oh as you expect I'm fighting a war aren't I I could get a good headshot out of these guys. Boom, headshot. Just for help, and just for wiping out these things. Come on. Now we're vilified by the Caesar's Legion. Well, Caesar's Legion should have had guns with them, but they don't. They have nothing. Reinforcements are here. Um. Over here. Well, what's going on? Oh, crap. I should kill these guys. Holy crap. Some peace you here. You, you will die. Wait, do I have Yes, I have another. Sniper rifle. This only does like 25 damage. Mm. 
12 damage. Fifty five damage will do. Like fighting a monster from Resident Evil. Holy crap! That does a butt ton of damage. All right, yeah, I'm gonna need my. Uh I don't need to use that super storage. How much damage does that do? 73. Alright, he's dead. Blade of the East. Alright, let's see what this baby can do. Ah, good. Marksman come far by him, say. We go, we've won the battle. I want you know, as my prize, I take their chainsaws. Chainsaws! And I might as well take more circles until I get what I want. But yeah. Mm.
sell a lot of this stuff for a lot of money. Get that out. Oh. Okay, it's terrible. Um, what else do I have? Oh, yeah, the service got for me. gonna take a long time to kill these guys with a service rifle. Um, sniper, no. How much damage? This does 11 damage. Alright, I'm gonna need... I think I might as well stick to my hunting shotgun. I don't even know why I was using Maria. Okay, now they fear me because I just came god right in front of me. Alright, where do I head? Outside the Legion camp. Or the Roman camp to be more exact. Crap, is this what they've been doing to- Is that- Okay, it's Brahmin, okay. I thought it was humans, I was gonna say, why are they doing this to humans? Hey, you're a Roman warrior, you need to act, and then- Another marksman carbine. Uh, bye. Um, not bye. Uh, and prepare this marksman carbine. How much damage will this do now? Um, 21. 21? I'm stupid. No, I'm not. What's 9 plus? I'm stupid. No, I'm not. What's 9 plus 10? 21? Alright, let's go move on. Let's leave this camp. Battle spin 1. Jesus Christ. Oh, those are NCR troops. I was gonna say. It's a military general. That's a fine bit of work back there. Truth told, I'm surprised you made it out of there in one piece. You and the dam. I'm impressed to say the least, and that's no easy thing. You've secured NCR's future. The administration sends its thanks for what it's worth. And we're glad to have you. And whether you're a soldier of the Republic or not, you're it in my eyes. Sometimes the Republic gets lost along the way while it's trying to follow its instincts. 
But when soldiers like you come along, it helps them get back on track and... We clean up, take prisoners, watch the East for any more trouble from the Legion. Though I think they're still running, according to our scouts. Mm. After that, we'll see what happens when the dust settles and how the Mojave looks now without Caesar coming for its throat. Something tells me we better enjoy this breather while we can. And if that means Vegas, then you and the troops have earned it. <laughs> Can't keep the courier spirit down, eh? Fair <laughs> enough. We'll clean up here. Kind of curious how this is going to pan out in the long run. But I guess history... Mm-hmm. Yep, it will. Alright, we managed to defeat Caesar's Legion and, um... Okay, now we teleport. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again. And the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The new California Republic celebrated its second victory at Hoover Dam, establishing definitive victory. control over the entire Mojave Wasteland. Soon after, they negotiated terms to annex the Strip, Freeside, and many surrounding communities. That's the Mojave good. Wasteland, at long last, had entirely fallen under the NCR's banner. Though the Courier's agenda was debated by many, he was honored by NCR for his support of the military at Hoover Dam. He was presented with the Golden Branch, the highest civilian decoration given by the Republic. With the help of the Gunrunners, the Boomers developed a healthy trading relationship with the NCR. Eventually, the Boomers began wandering out into the wasteland, while still preventing outsiders from entering Nellis. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed, settled into new lives, or headed west to find a new chapter to join. Never weakened by NCR, the Fiends staged an attack against Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. Though NCR repulsed the Fiends, they suffered heavy losses in the process. After the NCR's victory at the dam, the followers of the Apocalypse were pushed out of Old Mormon Fort during its occupation by NCR forces. NCR further encouraged them to leave Outer Vegas entirely, and the followers had no choice but to comply. Good Springs saw more trade along I-15 after NCR gained control of the Mojave Wasteland. But with that came a heavy burden of the Republic's taxes. Some old-timers, unable to handle the cost, were forced to move on, grumbling all the while. Cass survived to see the NCR flag flying proud over Hoover Dam, and thought for a moment, this is what a hero must feel like. She was about to tell the courier not to get too proud of himself. Then she figured, he knew that already. So she laughed, said fuck it all, and raised a <laughs> bottle to the dam and the ones who had fought for it. As far as she was concerned, the whole thing was proof that playing out a bad hand can pay off in the end. As long as someone like the courier was holding the cards. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, Wyoming. they reconnected with the followers of the Apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, they carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. After the NCR victory at Hoover Dam, the temporary truce between them and the Kings blossomed into a full-scale relief effort for the people. While the NCR made repeated entreaties that Freeside join the Republic, the Kings steadfastly maintained their independence. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, Several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, <laughs> allowing it to remain independent of NCR. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave Wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, Fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, 
War no changes. Hmm. Well, I guess that means we finished Fort New Vegas now. Funny how this is actually the first game I end up playing in on this channel. Mainly. What happens if we go talk to Yes Man, by the way? Go to the presidential suite. Oh, wait, no, I keep forgetting it's a pet house. Um, hopefully, yes, man is uh, all right with my decision to allow the MCR rule over New Vegas. You know, I think New Vegas is in need of a government. Oh. I can't speak to Yes Man. Okay. Oh yeah. I forgot. Yes Man isn't um yeah. That is gonna spook me. The death. Go back to the casino. Um. Oh, yes. Well, we did what we did. We did. We did a favor for the NCR, and we got back for it. Wait, let's go talk to Yes Man. Hey, hey fellow, what? Oh. Ain't you the cat that stopped Kimball getting iced? Cutsy baby. Don't expect no This is, uh, again, that was a pretty fun game. Um, 13th floor. There's Yes Man. Yes, man, at lucky 38. All right. Oh, yeah. My holdout weapon is brass knuckles, knife, and straight razor. Silence pistol, because I like to keep my killings in silence. Okay, this is gonna get copyrighted. I wish I can. Ch I wish there was a mod I can change where I can change that. But there's nothing I can do that because it plays through these speakers. 
Alright, let's head out. What are these girls doing? Oh, right. This, these are uh, NCR troops. They're celebrating. I really have more important things to do. Sorry. Water's fine. These guys. Seen the sights? I've not touched Gamora's machines until the dust settles. Hmm. Come on, big man. Roll up in here. All right, ladies. Show's over. All right, girls. Show's over. Uh oh. Wanna dance? <laughs> the law, more. girls. Beats being on patrol. Are you going to spank us? I so love handcuffs. <laughs> Hello, Sparky. All right, enough fun for tonight. <laughs> they were like, "Okay, let's get back to work." So, the NCR now controls this area. We did exactly what the NCR wanted us to do. And we basically complete the game. Hold on, this side. Yep. Sorry. Hopefully this hopefully the mix of Securitrons and uh, and NCR troops should provide very good uh, should provide very good police state and hopefully yes man can be the robot advisor or whatever. Oh, remember I need to go into the penthouse section. So surprised how New Vegas still remains its power. That's why it's called Vault Twenty One. And yes, man just killed himself by going into a TV. Wow, Mr. All right, let's uh, give it a try. <sighs> God. Step closer to the demonstration area, please. Okay, so you're familiar with Securitrons by now, obviously. I mean, some of your best friends are Securitrons, right? <laughs> Yeah, I've got Victor. And no, not Victor, so in the Senate. Let's, uh... 
Bloody hell. Don't tread on the bear. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. So basically, I keep working with him, then eventually the NCR will not want my services any longer. So just prevent that. Best not to work with him anymore. We don't want to start a third battle for Hoover Dam. After all, I think this will pretty much conclude today's uh, Fallout New Vegas video. Um, don't know what else I'm going to do because uh, I've already finished all the quests. I've uh, finished working for the NCR. Let me just uh, check out something. Yeah, we pretty much did... Right now, it's best we uh, don't tread on the bear. So it's pretty much best we don't get on bad turns with the NCR. But anyway, again, this will pretty much conclude today's video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Sign our peeps.